meat department. All right, thanks so much, Hutch. It's not every day the moon enters the Earth's shadow and turns blood red, but that's exactly what happened today in certain parts of the world. Laura Podesta has this story. Sky watchers woke up early on the West Coast to view a rarely seen spectacle. So there's the triangle, right? A super blood moon. A super moon appears when the full moon is at its closest point to the Earth. Last night it took place at the same time as a lunar eclipse making the moon look like it was turning a dark red color. So sunlight slipping around the edges of the Earth passed through the atmosphere, and the red light is filtered out. The blue light is sort of removed, and you get this reddish glow. How long does the entire phenomenon last? The part of the eclipse that's the best part, you know, when the moon turns very dark and red, is called totality. It's only going to last for about 15 minutes. This is the first total lunar eclipse in more than two years. Astronomers say it offers views of the moon they don't get to see every day. We can actually observe the surface of the moon when it's dark in order to be able to see uh, meteorites landing on its surface. The spectacle started hours earlier in Australia, New Zealand and other places in the Pacific and did not disappoint stargazers looking for a dazzling array of colors and a rare astronomical show. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. People are buying clothes and they're buying makeup. Straight ahead, after a year of lockdowns, the beauty industry is back. We'll tell you the hottest selling items next. At Luther Family Force,